Hey guys, welcome to the Belgian Waffle Ride California race recap. I'm pretty tired right now. It was a super challenging day of racing, like, uh, like it always is. I thought about doing the race recap right now, just after the race, so it's uh, raw. And uh, you have exactly uh, my, my true feeling uh, without reflection. <laughs> started at uh, 7 a.m. classic 7 a.m. Belgian Wolf ride. Everyone was starting at the same time so it was 3,000 people lining up and uh, I was lucky enough to have uh, a call up. I don't know what I would have done uh, without a call up. It was a lot uh, of people. So uh, yeah, we started. I was in great position. First error of the day. I was taking too much win unnecessarily, especially that early into the race. I was doing that because there's a climb, a seven minute climb that you hit about five to six K in. And uh, we all knew that it would be the first selection. So uh, we had that climb. I don't have my power number with me, but uh, it felt like uh, seven minutes at about 450, I would say. And on top of the climb, we were maybe a group of I don't know, 20 guys. And then you hit the super, super uh, fast descent. So uh, in the descent, you will reach speed of like approximately 80K an hour. Then you take a super tight left, go down a twisty road, and then you enter the first gravel sector of the day. But the tricky part is that you have to hop over. I'm not sure how you call it in English, but it looks like something... Uh, that you do on a cyclocross, but it's way higher, so you couldn't you couldn't jump it. So uh, you had to dismount your bike. So it was a big fight to be in very good place there. Then you hit the descent on the dirt. It's uh, not a technical descent, but uh, there was some rocks that you had to be careful because of all the rain. So it rained pretty good um, here for the past week, and uh, it actually helped. Most of the trails, the dirt was uh, more firm, more grippy. But uh, for this one, it kind of put all the rocks in the middle. So you had to be careful with that. I think one or two guys uh, got a flat there. Then we arrived on the road. We were a small group of maybe 10 in front. And there was a chase group of maybe 15 at the back. They came back after like 5K. And uh, there was 3K left before the first like, single track of the day but uh, it's not just one single track uh, it's single track for a good 20k so around lake hodges they're all mountain bike trails that are easy not like crazy easy but you can ride them pretty good on a gravel bike i'm not sure what i did but i kind of got boxed in before the entrance and uh, i was like mid-pack and i was really not happy with that so um I made sure to still be careful, so not pass people like crazy and risk a flat. And I finally made it to like the top seven or eight. I was just behind Alexi and Pete. And uh, there was a guy that rides for Pinarello in between me and Alexi. And uh, he, he had to uh, go out of his bike because there was a technical section that he was not able to ride. And uh, I was able to ride on the side of him, but when he got on his bike, he kind of bumped me a little bit and I tried to recover the bike, but by recovering the bike, I crashed. And uh, I mean, it was not that bad. The chain was uh, out, but uh, it maybe took me like 30 seconds to be back on the bike. Nothing broken, so I'm super happy about that. I lost some, some skin, but uh, really not that bad. So I had to chase for all the single tracks. So by the time I, I was back on my bike, all our group had passed me pretty much. So I was maybe 20th on the single track, 20th on the road. And uh, I did a single track pretty much by myself, just passing guys. 
and was finally able to catch back the front group before a twisty climb. So the climb is about 2K, super, super steep. Pete hit that climb. I was a third wheel and uh, I'm not gonna lie, that climb kind of hurt with all the chasing. I would say that I was already in the red. I was putting my poker face on, but uh, um, I was struggling for sure. In the downhill, it went super well. Had the Kenda tire, the slick, perfect choice, I would say. 42 people were telling me it was, it was big, but I didn't feel like I was losing too much on the road and I was for sure more comfortable on the single track. So at the bottom of that, you hit the first feed zone. Uh, we didn't stop at all, but we got bottle from uh, the lead car. And then you're on the road for a super long time. So you have a stretch of 30K on the road and it's actually a super uh, long climb followed by like a false flat going up. And uh, on that climb, I was really not uh, confident, I would say. I was trying to talk myself in, but uh, I was struggling at the start of it. But uh, I grind my teeth and uh, at the end we lost a lot of guys. So at, at the top we were maybe... 10 guys, I would say. So we lost guys like uh, Ivar Sik, the, the winner of Unbound last year. So pretty good guys. And uh, on top of that, I was like, okay, now it's finally going to chill. But uh, we played games and uh, groups were forming. We were attacking each other. I got stuck in a chase group with Alexei, Pete and uh, Russell. And we had to chase so hard. And uh, <laughs> that, that was... Like, during that chase, I was like, what am I doing? Like, that's way too hard to be uh, not even halfway in. And I was kind of worried about uh, the climb that was coming. So kind of the last climb of the way in is called Black Canyon. It's like a 3K climb on gravel. Then you go down and then you kind of have a 5K climb that's half gravel, half road. And on the first 3K, I was feeling good. And uh, we had that downhill, I was feeling confident. But uh, when we hit that second climb, that was half gravel, half road, I don't know what happened, but uh, I just didn't have anything left. So um, I feel like gravel is kind of, you're kind of going up and down in terms of how you feel. And uh, I was really at a low point and uh, I got dropped and lost the group. I tried everything to stay there because I knew that being by myself for the way back would be horrible. So the way that the course is designed, you're pretty much going up all the way when you go in. And the way back is pretty much all downhill other than the final climb. I knew that after Black Canyon, it would chill. And I talked to guys and after Black Canyon, they really all chilled pretty much until you, you hit the single tracks. So um, yeah, I had to do all that, that false flat going down and all that downhill by myself. I kind of was feeling better and better. So um, I just put my head down and uh, was hoping to catch guys that uh, maybe overpaced. If I remember, I think we were approximately 10 in the front group when I got dropped. I didn't catch any anyone. Nobody catch me in the single track. So the way back, uh, you're pretty much another 20K on the single track. Uh, driving was going super well, the Astro Gravel with the flare and no bar and everything. If you want to know more about the bike, I have a full bike check on the YouTube channel that you can check out. I was super happy with the bike. I got out of the single track, got cut by Lance Hated. So Lance probably rode the single track way faster than I did. I think I rode the single track pretty good, but I'm pretty sure Lance, uh, other than Russell, is probably the guy that rode it the faster. And uh, it was kind of a battle with Lance until the finish. He finally got the best of me. He finished like 10 seconds before me. On the line, like I said, not sure exactly what was my finish position. It's disappointing. Um, I don't have really have any excuses, to be honest. I, I think the crash cost me a little bit of chasing, uh, but it was in the single track. So yes, there's drafting because we're still going 25k an hour, but um, I don't think it was that bad. I think the only thing I can say is that I think I'm missing some racing legs right now. I always do good at the end of the year and uh, yeah, maybe I just uh, didn't make sure enough that uh, I was able to get some good fast group rides or race. Um, I was hoping to have some with Mid-South and Arizona, but uh, that didn't went according to plan. Thank you for listening. 
As usual, take care of yourself by making the most optimal choice in every moment and do the same. Take care of the ones you love. Oh,